Hey everyone, it's Helen with White Pine Homestead. Today we are picking mullen. So I'm out for my morning walk and I thought while I was out uh, just getting some exercise I'd go ahead and pick up some mullein on my way because it's growing really well right now. So we're going to get some of that gathered and then I will take in our kitchen a little bit later, show you how we are uh, going to prepare it, talk about its benefits. And I also have some that's already dried and I'm just going to have you take a look at that also. So let's turn the camera around and see what I'm looking at. So here we have some mullein. You can see the plant here. There's a couple different sizes. And I just wanted to kind of give you a scan over of that to give you a look at what it looks like, you know, in the different sizes. This was kind of a perfect patch for that. When it gets to this size, you're not going to be picking these big leaves like that. I wouldn't even touch those at that point. I would just concentrate on this middle heart area right here and go ahead and pick that. This plant's also called cowboy to toilet paper. I've heard it called inland, or uh, sorry, um, Indian toilet paper. It is, the leaves are extremely soft. And so, hey, I guess if we have another toilet paper shortage, that's, a, that's an option for you. But I'm gonna use it for tea and medicinal purposes. So, all I would do, it's pretty simple, oops, sorry, got a little, is you're just gonna pick it like that. I mean, it's super simple to pick. There's nothing to it. I got a little bag here that I am filling up and we're going to get a bit of this this morning and we'll take you back to the house. So I thought I'd stop for a minute and let you just kind of have a close up of what these leaves look like. And you can kind of see how they have a little fuzziness on them. They're super soft and they look a lot more veiny on the other side. Let's see if I can get this to focus. There we go. And it's just really interesting. They're not all as intricate as this one, but I thought it was just really unique and I wanted to show it to you. So yeah, that's what you're looking for. And kind of the uh, medium, small, medium to medium, large, but you don't want to go super large and you don't want to go super small. I don't decimate the plant because it'll keep growing and we can get more off of it through this season. So what I mean by not decimating, let's see if I can hold this camera and do this at the same time, is that I'm just going to take these inside ones. I'm not taking the very smallest, and I'm not taking these larger ones on the outside. We're just kind of doing the middle and trying to make sure, sorry, I'm trying to hold my phone while um, videoing this and picking these, I mean. And uh, so, you see, I'm just going to kind of look at that and go, yeah, that's enough off that plant. We're going to leave the rest of that plant. We're going to let it keep growing for the season. We'll pick some more off of it later, or maybe we won't. But we're not just digging the whole thing up, and we're going to leave a bit for nature as we go along this season. All right, I think we got a pretty good bag of leaves this morning. We're going to get these back to the house and get them washed up and talk about how and uh, in what ways we can use these and what they're good for for you every day. Love free food. Okay everyone, we're home. We're gonna get this mullet all washed up and I'm gonna talk with you a little bit about it while I am doing that and kind of show you uh, one of the best ways I think to wash up these leaves are, I mean, you could do an indiv individually, but this just is kind of a faster way to get through it and move on with our day. So let's get started. All right, so we're going to get this washed up, and I'm actually just using my, um, what I use to clean up lettuce or any other leafy kind of green that I have, and just wash these all nice this way. Like I said, you could do this individually, 
and I kind of go over them. Some of them had a little, you know, a little few black specks on it or whatever, and I just want to get those washed up and rinsed off. But one of the easiest ways to get that excess water off, as we all have, well, I don't know about all of us, but is to use a salad spinner, which is what I'm using here. I absolutely love these things so much. They're so handy. One of the reasons that I collect mullein specifically, I think it's a wonderful herb. It is so good for cold season. It works great for, uh, you know, using as like a respiratory uh, tonic. It helps open the lungs. It can ease spasms and tightness, you know, coughing. It, it basically, it reduces inflammation. And when it does that, that's helping to relax the muscles in your respiratory tract which, you know, allows you not to have spasms or so forth when you're coughing and having a rough time. And it can help soothe that. It's a, it's a very safe herb. Um, you can uh, make, make a tea of it and, um, you know, take it three to four times a day. It's absolutely safe for your children to take. You could just, you know, um, steep up a cup and uh, give it to them several times a day with some honey, which is also very soothing and great for, for your kiddos. All right, we have one tray done. We're actually just going to stack these as we go because it won't hurt to flatten the leaves out. So now we will get some more on here. I mean, it is really just a wonderful wonderful herb and it's so easy right now we're just laying all these out on our trays to go into our dehydrator if you had an air dryer that would be fine if you don't live in a really humid climate I actually live in a really dry climate plus I have a wood stove which we're not running as frequently right now as spring is here um, we have had to have it on a couple times but not constantly so Mine are drying out pretty quickly, and what I think I'm actually going to do is put them in my dehydrator, but not turn it on, and just not, not put the front on it, and allow the air, low, you know, just to dry it out. I'll show you some that I'd already started working on. I was just out walking the other day and picked one or two plants just because I saw them, and I uh, was like, yeah, I'm going to grab that now. Now the other thing about these leaves, let me get a dry one and I'll show it to you real quick. Hopefully you'll be able to see it. Is that there? Let's see. Ah, can you see that? I don't know. They're kind of fuzzy. They're very soft and there's just tiny, tiny hairs all over them. And so if you feel like that's something that might bother you, you can always strain your tea. It doesn't bother me at all. Um, I can use mine and it's not a big deal. And like I said, if you're putting in some honey in there and you're just using that to, to coat your throat, um, it feels really, really good. All right, we're going to actually dump that and then spin it again. And I'm going to finish up these trays and then we will uh, talk again. Very good, Ruth Mary. Ruth Mary is loading up the dehydrator for me as I go here. Thank you. <laughs> You're silly. Okay, go ahead and take that one. Go ahead and put it over there. Got a bit of a homeschool mess going on this morning. But uh, Ruth Mary's going to take a break here and help me out. <laughs> Thank you, my dear. If it doesn't line up, try again. My little helper. Okay, Ruth Mary did a wonderful job getting uh, these loaded, and I had a lot more than I thought I did. So it actually filled up all but one tray of my dehydrators. So I was gonna let them air dry, but because it filled up both of my dehydrators, I am gonna go ahead and run them. The other reason is because it's chilly outside, and but it's not chilly enough that I want to start a fire. So if I just run my dehydrators a little bit, um, hey, we'll warm the house up a little bit and we'll kill two birds with one stone. So we'll get these done and we'll come back tomorrow and show you how they look and how we're going to process them up and store them.
Hey everyone, we are back. It is the next morning, uh, or next day anyways, it's actually afternoon at the moment. And I took out uh, a batch out of one of the dehydrators of the Mullen to just kind of show you an easy way of how you're gonna crumble this up into a tea. And uh, when, you, when you actually use it, you're gonna want to steep it for about 15 minutes. You want to, to actually steep any tea for about 10 to 15 minutes to get the medicinal values out of the herbs that you're using. If you don't steep it for at least that long, you're enjoying some flavor, but you're not actually getting the medicinal value that you could get if you would steep it for 10 to 15 minutes. So whenever I steep my tea, I have a couple little little teapots that I steep them in, or I put a plate on top of my mug, or whatever the case may be to try to just keep the steam in there, to steep it real nice and hot, and to keep those uh, the medicinal properties of whatever herb that I'm drinking in there so that I actually get the benefit when I put it into my body. So we're gonna show you two easy ways to just make this up into tea this morning. One mechanical, uh, one with your hands. Here we go. The most affordable way to do your tea is simply to just start crushing it up. I mean, there's not a whole lot to it. You can just kind of rub it in between your hands and get it all nice and, and crushed up. It doesn't have to be super fine. Um, I kind of like mine fine, but it doesn't have to be that way. So. Like I said, just rub it between your hands and it's just kind of making that a nice tea. Mullen is um, a little fluffier even when it's dry than a lot of other herbs. Uh, this actually dehydrated for quite some time. I forgot about it and one of my dehydrators is on a timer so it shut off and the other one didn't and at 3.30 this morning I remembered and got up and turned off my dehydrator. So it went for a long time. So even though it is fully dry, it's not as, um, it doesn't have the crinkly sound that you get with say peppermint or some of the other herbs that you dry out, but I assure you it is fully dry. So you can sit and do that and that is absolutely fine, nothing to it, and get a nice, uh, nice and crunched up to be able to use. Or you can do something slightly quicker if you want to. And that would be a food processor or a blender or something along those lines. So we're just going to do that real quickly on this batch. And it would definitely make it a bit of a finer cut. But it makes it go pretty quickly and there's your tea. There you go. And just so you can kind of just see the difference, I mean, it's not a huge difference you're going to see from in here. I would say this is a little finer for sure, but either way is going to work for your purposes. So whatever you got time to do, if you don't have a food processor, don't write it off. Just crunch it up with your hands and move forward. So that's how we pick, dry, and process our mullen into tea that we will use for its medicinal purposes. We're going to pick it this time of year and get it uh, all ready so that we have it come cold season. You know, so we're not searching for those things or what do we need to have in the house at that time. So we're getting free nutrients by wild crafting the mullen instead of purchasing it somewhere. We, uh, it doesn't really take a whole lot of effort to get it ready the way that we need to. And like I said, we're going to use it as a tea uh, where we drink it with honey. And I do have some other uh, ways that I'm going to use that in the future, and I will certainly share those with you in future videos. So if you have any questions or if you're wild crafting something in your area, uh, just, you know, hey, give me a comment. Let me know what you think. I would love to have your input on what you guys are wild crafting. Or if you have any questions about anything you saw in this video or anything to add that I maybe have missed or some way that you use Mullen that could be helpful to others, let's share and get that word out there. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and that it was helpful. We will hopefully see you in the next video. Have a great day, guys. Bye.